you can be forgiven for thinking that's actually a ceramic pot because it's quite pretty isn't it very 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 pretty so this used to be a candle holder or a tea light candle holder i'm going to show you how i made this in different colors hello there my name is liz a self-confessed succulent addict welcome to my channel growing succulents So these are my preferred pot size to use for my succulents. So this one has got an opening of about six and a half centimeters, depth of about six and a half by six and a half. Now this one would be a bit taller, about seven centimeters, but opening is about six. And this one, I prefer the taller one, the taller the better but not too tall as well because you're using up a lot of soil. So now this one has got about nine and a half centimeter tall. Opening wise, about six and a half roughly. So these are my preferred sizes for newly potted succulents or newly purchased succulents. So whether it'll be a small one or a big one. So it will still take about a year or two before I could transplant it into a bigger pot or before they grow. Of course that's depending on the plant because different succulents have varying growth speed. There are other pretty pots in the market but they can be quite expensive. These ones, I got these ones from the thrift store or what we call here in Australia op shops which I still paid about three dollars for these ones. Occasionally you do come across something that is or has got the same size that I'm after. So this is about roughly about six and a half centimeters by seven and a half. This has got a hole and everything but this one I actually painted this with a nail polish. So this used to be a candle holder or a tea light candle holder. So recently I found this at my local hardware store they used to be a couple of dollars, but I got them cheap. So these ones, I only paid 16 cents for each of them. It comes in 16 pieces in a box. So I got four boxes. So these are already drilled with holes. And as you can see, this one I already painted as well, and it's quite pretty. So if you are to compare that with your other pots, then you can be forgiven for thinking that's actually a ceramic pot because it's quite pretty isn't it very 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 pretty this one as well so they do come like this you can still use it later on and put the handle back if you like but it's just a matter of removing the clip there there you go don't give me a hard time how come when you got the camera on you always give me a hard time that's it it's as easy as that So I've got a little container here where I can put water and also I need sponge to absorb or hold the sort of cushions it. Hollow core diamond drill bit. So it doesn't wear out your drill bit because this one could last you for years and years and years and years if you use water with it. And if you use it on dry, you're going to knock off a lot of the diamond coating that it has and you're going to wear it out sooner than you can only use it a few times. So get your area wet first and angle so don't do straight on like this okay so at an angle we just score it or just set your mark just so it doesn't flip around very lightly and that's already that's what I call scoring now it sits on a groove now I get my sponge here and I put it next to my drill bit and I have the speed on one so it's just, uh, it's the torque basically, so I can control it a bit better, but the control is on your trigger finger. So just lightly, if you watch the top of my finger here saying hello, just lightly. So there you go, you can practice or there, okay. 
Now let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. As I, I can feel that it's already cutting a groove through it, so I'm gonna move it slowly, pivot it to side, or to the side, from side to side. And if it's dry, always uh, refresh the water so that way it doesn't burn because the water do get hot. And never press because so. you'll break the glass if you do. Now, even though there's already a hole, I just want to clean off the edges. There you go. Make sure that it's already gone through. And that's it. So now we have a finished drilled glass candle holder. Hey, baby, please say hello. Look, is that here? So now let's go dry this up. So I've been doing a lot. So all I did is just put a dozen inside the oven for a few minutes, like 10 minutes on 25 degrees. So basically I just got the fan going to just dry it up. So rinse it and then dry it off. And we're ready to paint. You're always on my videos, aren't you? Hey. So I should be growing succulents with Mommy and Pedro. Okay, let's go paint. This succulent has been growing in this pot for at least three years. So this is the same method I will be using for our tea light holder. So this one is a ceramic pot, but the outside texture of the ceramic pot was actually coarse. It wasn't glazed at all. It was able to make the paint stick better. So this is a nail polish paint or nail polish but you can also use acrylic paint if you like and also some glass paint that you actually cook in the oven but then again if you use that then you're defeating the purpose of keeping the cost of your pots low because the glass paint is quite expensive. So I chose to use the nail polish because it's got a nice sheen like pearlescent as well which just makes it so beautiful and we're going to be using the same sort of color combination for this pot as well i'm just going to do a simple color i will start with the pink one first i'm going to do maybe two or three colors you can apply as smoothly and slow as you want or as fast and rough as I do. <laughs> you can even make some really nice pretty flowers. Also, if you're sensitive to nail polish, you shouldn't be using it. Otherwise, you can wear <laughs> a gas mask when applying this because the fumes can get a little bit too much. So, or either do it outside, outdoors, would be a nice calm day to apply nail polish on your pots. I think that's good enough. I'm going to overlap it with the other one. So this nail polish has got some glitters on it. So this is what I'm gonna be using. So I think you call this frosted. So this one now, because it's been so old, look, it's just dry. See how the gets really blotchy? What I do is I put some methylated spirit. I got a little syringe to extract the, okay. Place the lid and we shake it all over. Now we see if it's nice and smooth. Yes. So now, because this is sort of, see the bottom is shiny, the pink one, but the top is matte finish. So I'm just gonna gloss it over. Oh, look at that, it's beautiful. And look at that, gorgeous. See, look at that, that smoothens out or evens out. The two of them, beautiful, see, there you go. So it blends in nicely. Look at that, gorgeous. 
So I'm just going to apply the whole lot and if I get a little bit impatient and that's why all the mess on my cardboard here, I just pour it all. Like so. And spread it. Much quicker. Instead of dunking it in and taking it out so this way look at that beautiful look and the gorgeous i got a pretty pot so i'm just gonna go finish this off and i'll just let this dry up and it's finito now it's ready to put some succulents in it and here's more of what i prepared earlier Very, very nice. 